All cities in the world are facing global problems today, like global warming, flood, drought, and 400 cities in China are running out of water. And we have problem of pollution. One third of Chinese cities are suffering pollution problem. All these are, are major issues for landscape architects to solve. More than 50% of people now live in the cities. The city becomes bigger and bigger, but we're losing productive land. We are cutting off the natural process. How can you make people living together, but at the same time, you still feel connected to the nature, connected to the, to the people, have a sense of a community, and also connected to your culture. So as a designer, we have to solve this problem. Many parks, particularly in China, are ornamental. They need a lot of water, they need a lot of energy, they need a lot of labor, you know, they are ornamental, useless, only for something we call the beautiful. But my definition of landscape is totally different. Many of my designers are very radical. For example, I design the landscape architecture as an art of survival. It must be able to solve the problems we are facing today. I was born in Zhejiang province, an agricultural village. So I was not able to go to school for, for several years. Have to work as a farmer. Hard work. But I had a very good experience of nature and also I have a good experience of farming. As a farmer, you have to know how to work with the land. And also you have to know how to, to weed, for example, to take care of the crops and how to irrigate, how to grow, you know, how to harvest, and how to celebrate, how to share the food. My father tell me that any piece of the land must be productive. Now that's very influential to uh, on my idea about productive landscape. All this make me what I am today. So as a landscape architect, you have to follow the cycle of nature. If you don't design with nature, you will suffer. You, you, you cannot fight against nature. Conventionally, people speed up, you know, channelize the river, make the water run as fast as possible. But my solution is holistic. We want to solve the water problem holistically. Terracing the landscape, cutting and fill makes the, makes the slope be able to retain water. By slowing down the water, you, you will be able to clean the water allow nature to heal itself. We want to use the water to, uh, to regenerate the, the vegetation, to, to recover the habitat, and also provide opportunity for people to use the landscape as a park. Our design works, our design functional. Now people can see that the park works, so now people begin to trust us. Piece by piece, you can see how we can solve the problem. But at the same time, of course, we have to change the idea. We have to change the concept. We have to change the mentality of the, of the, of the people, particularly the decision makers, because they make the decision how to go from gray into green, to go from expensive, unsustainable practice to sustainable, productive process. It's difficult because they, they just come into the city from farmland. You will see very small things can change the world. So if every family can collect water from their roof, they can solve the problem of urban flood. And if everyone can grow their own food, we can save a lot of energy, we can save a lot of transportation energy cost to make food, otherwise we, we are not going to survive.